The town in northern New South Wales is divided over a plan to establish a large wind farm. Some welcome the project, saying it'll provide clean energy and jobs to the area, but others argue it could devalue the region. A hidden gem. That's what some locals call the historic mining New South Wales town of Nundal. I've got a soft spot for Nundal. Nundal's been good to me up over the years. It's peaceful, um, you know, it's quiet, you don't have the congested traffic, it's beautiful and autumn is just, yeah, magical. With a population of around 300, Nundal is situated in the New England region of New South Wales. Many locals say due to its remote location, Nundal's main form of income is tourism. We just came out for the day just to get away from the heat of Tamworth to have a look at the nice scenery and go up to the lookout and have a look at the old buildings and just the heritage of the place. For the past six years, there has been talk of a renewable project called the Hills of Gold, 50 kilometres southeast of Tamworth. The Hills of Gold, a wind farm operated by Engie, one of the world's biggest independent power producers. As divisive issues come into our area, obviously um, some people rightly say there's a financial gain for us, that so we can make money out of it. Other people say, well, it's actually a detriment to us because it affects the value of our land because we have to look at what becomes an industrial park or transmission lines go over our land, diminishing the value of our land. But I think the sleeper issue in this is ultimately this infrastructure, these wind factories, these wind towers have to be dismantled and taken away. And there is no coverage for that. Even though now the turbines have been reduced from 64 to 47, that still won't ease the pain and the angst that that uh, community is feeling. According to NG, the wind farm is expected to generate approximately 211 direct jobs and provide $210,000 a year for local community groups and supply up to 1,000 gigawatts per annum. The people who support the project uh, up around Nundal and Hanging Rock, they're, they're really looking forward to those jobs. An important thing to remember is that uh, labour is quite short all around the country and, and uh, places like uh, like Nundal are no different in that regard. So uh, it's important that there's additional training uh, added by governments, um, particularly in the TAFE area. This is where the Hills of Gold wind farm is set to be built. And as a result, the town of Nundal, with a population of around 300 people, is divided. It has divided the town, and that's a real shame. I have the shop as a neutral zone. There's a massive amount of work that will have to be done in terms of roads. And some of those roads will be hundreds of metres uh, uh, along under fill, fill that's going to have to be put in place. And of course we're going to be left with the uh, responsibility of maintaining them into the future. Why do we have to put up with them when you don't? How about just off the beach at Manly? Or just off the beach at Bondi? So you can see them. You can surf in your virtue. The Hills of Gold Wind Farm Development application was referred to the Independent Planning Commission a public meeting for the Commission panel to hear the community's views will be held on Thursday, February 1 and Friday, February 2. The Commission panel will determine the application. I approached NG and they are not available for comment until after the IPC meeting. Janie Seal, Sky News.